of the customers that bought a year ago in St. Louis can uh, give you their salesperson's name? 5% probably. It's a little higher. I've seen it as low as 8, as high as 12, so I, I say 10. Okay. 10% 10 of the people a year later can give you their salesperson's name, and they spent on average for a used vehicles about 30 grand, for new vehicles 50 grand. Shame on the customers. Shame on us. How important are referrals to the uh, success, the long-term success of an automotive sales profession? Okay, I agree. When do you ask a customer for referrals? Before they leave. Say again? Before they leave. Before they leave, okay. On a follow-up call. On a follow-up call. On your anniversary. On your birthday. Okay, right. On right. my birthday. Every time I tell you. Right. <laughs> okay, right. Good. That's exactly what I was taught. Never worked. Doesn't work worth a shit. Yet that we still do it. This business is the poster child for we're doing it because that's the way we've always done it. Okay? I met a guy several years ago, actually shoot, four or five years ago now. And uh, I was doing a meeting in their um, sales meeting room. I'd never been to the dealership before. And you know, once in a while, I'll have somebody obnoxious in, uh, in a training session. And you know what? If you're a good salesman, you've earned the right to be obnoxious as far as I'm concerned. Because most sales trainers suck. I expect them to think I suck too. So this guy was obnoxious. Um, so I looked up on their sales board to see where he stood. And the numbers beside his name didn't make sense to me. Because if you suck as a salesman, I'm going to toast you if you're obnoxious. But if you're a good salesperson, hey, I'm all in on it. Um, I'm obnoxious too. I can live with it. It doesn't bother me yet. So at the end of the first session, I was with the dealer of the GM. I said, hey, your boy Tom, um, he's a handful. They said, yeah, he is, but he needs what you have. His grosses need improvement, blah, 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 blah. I said, well, how many cars a month does he sell? They said, well, he did 57 last year. I said, he did 57 cars last year? They said, no. He did 57 units a month last year. I went to a fleet guy. They said, no, mostly used. He does only about 10 or 15 new. I went, oh, only 10 or 15 new. I said, uh, 57 cars a month. They said, yeah, he's, he's very good. He's, you know, we, we provide him two assistants, and those two assistants we rotate because hopefully they become salespeople. So we pay half for the assistants, and he pays half. So as soon as I did, got done with my dealer GM meeting, I went straight over to the used car building because I'm going to spend time with this guy. And this guy taught me more about referrals in an hour than I had learned in 40 or 30, whatever, all the time I've been in the business. Um, because I asked, you know, I, said, I said, how do you do it? And he goes, well, Steve, I don't do it the way you teach it. I said, well, that doesn't matter to me. I said, and by the way, what are you talking about? You don't know what I teach. I, well, I'm, I'm teaching closing skills. He goes.